the ammonia kit comes in a box with a bottle of test strips and three plastic vials. In order to run this test, take out your bottle and one of the vials. You will fill the vial to the third or top line, approximately right there, with your solution. This is easiest if you have a pipette rather than trying to pour it into the vial. So we fill it to the line. And then, after checking the expiration date on your bottle, remove one of the strips, close your bottle again. These strips are slightly different in that there's two pads, one of which contains a reagent, and then the top one, which is your color change. So to run this test, you'll dunk the strip in and swish it up and down to mix the reagent with the water and cause the color change on the pad. So start either your watch with a second hand or a stopwatch and swish it up and down vigorously but still completely submerged in the water for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds have passed, pull the strip out of the vial and hold it level pad side up for 30 seconds. In order to read the measurement, make sure that you are looking through the plastic at the back side of the pad. If you look closely at it, you can see the raised bump where the two pads are, then flip it over and compare the sample color to the colors on the bottle. This sample would be a 1.0 parts per million of ammonia. It's fairly common to get a lower level reading like 0.25 with distilled water on this test because ammonia is added as a preservative. Simply throw your strip in the trash, record your measurement, and you're done.